We'll call the meeting to order at 7.30, thank you. We'll call, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance first. Call, please. Supervisors Boyd Frederick and Supervisor Kabicki are excused. There's 21 present. Citizens' comments next. Are there any citizens' comments? Any citizens here to comment? Any citizens to comment? Seeing none, citizens' comments are closed. I have one announcement. Supervisor Lewis, this $200 donation is going to the Twin Lakes Food Pantry, and that will finalize my 23rd donation since April 25th, 2020. So, uh, <laughs> Supervisor reports, Mr. Grady. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as always, we have pretty full agenda with our public works department. Just coming before you this evening alone, in addition to my report, we have a parks ordinance, which will seek your ratification, your approval, which talks about different rules, regulations, and so forth with the parks. We'll discuss that more fully as we get into it. We have a county highway access plan for your viewing pleasure this evening. And it's really kind of a, I would say, cool, forward, proactive type document. And again, we'll get to that as it is uh, pointed. We have a reappointment for Ken Urquhart for the Highway Commission. We have an energy easement in Salem Lakes for uh, Wisconsin Energies, and we have a uh, highway EM reconstruction document that'll be part of this evening's meeting. So without going into those in uh, excruciatingly painful detail, I'll just kind of hit some of the highlights we've been talking about in the department. And that is, we talk about the uh, monthly report for highways, quite a few active projects going on currently, and then mainly in the spring when it starts to warm up. Um, we're gonna have our County K project, which is 60th Street here in the city, and then County K out west. That is supposed to begin in the early summer of this year, 22, and it should be a one season project. Um, we're still working on some acquisition, right away acquisition for County Highway Y and A, which is 22nd Avenue and A on the north side of Kenosha area. Uh, various other projects going on here. Um, we're taking a look still at the County Highway JB Bridge Deck replacement. That's another one we're doing. Another cool one is down by uh, 39th Avenue, Russell Road, EZ, that whole area down there. That is scheduled to be a roundabout that will be right on the state line. The cool thing is, is that the Lake County folks down there are gonna finance it. So we'll be the beneficiary that will have access, but they're paying for basically engineering, construction, the whole thing. We have one little tiny sliver to uh, do as part of right away that will make our part complete, but it's a great deal for the county in the sense that we get a safer intersection built to modern specifications and we're not having the citizens of Kenosha County pay for it. So very kind of kind of jazz up about that, it's a good, it's a good thing. Um, various other things, you know, we have our golf division report. It's been a good year in golf. Preceding seasons, we expect a good one this year. Only doing one golf show, that's the Milwaukee Golf Show. That's the one we're gonna do this year and hopefully we'll get some good leads out of that. Um, we also have, I don't think I mentioned this, a uh, public-private multi-use trail expansion report there are gravel pits in the western part of Kenosha County which are operated by Thielen who's been a very good partner to us here in Kenosha County in terms of a uh, whole variety of things. But they also have uh, gravel pits on the other side of the state line in Illinois. And part of the plan when a gravel pit 
is finished and it no longer produces gravel efficiently, is there some type of restoration that needs to take place? And each owner operator has their own spin on this. Well, it turns out that Thielen is an exemplary and ideal partner in the sense that they want to restore them to better than almost new condition by trying to change them into parkland, trying to make it recreational opportunities. And it turns out that one of the owners or operators is very much into uh, bicycling. And they would like to see an actual network, conceivably, thought plans, um, starting in Lake County, running into Kenosha County, maybe connecting up with the existing bike trail. So it's kind of a formative thing. It's very, very early on. But it's nice to know that we have a private partner who's willing to look towards the future and provide recreational and restoration for gravel pit operations that are, that are ceasing. So I could go on for quite a little bit here and talk about this building here. We have heat pump modifications that have to be done. Some of the buildings uh, bids came in rather high, so we're still working through that. And the rest of it we will address during the uh, meeting this evening. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Supervisor Gashke. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just one brief update from Planning and Development and Extension Education. Uh, we'll have one resolution that will come before us tonight, which we'll talk about. But uh, one item that won't be coming before the board as a whole that I just want to make you aware of is a conditional use permit that our committee approved for Sherry Lynn Dietrich. And uh, that's for an expansion of an existing um, equestrian riding stable and indoor riding arena in the town of Brighton. Um, the, this uh, this stable's been in operation for I think 30 years or so, and uh, they're looking to ex expand and change a few things that they're doing there. And again, a conditional use permit was approved by our committee, but that's not something that comes before the board as a whole. Just wanted to make you aware. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Poundville. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Judiciary and Law met on March 2nd. We had two items that were on our agenda that evening, both of which are on our agenda tonight, numbers 113 and 114, and I'll give you more information on those when we get there. Thank you. Any other reports? Seeing none. County Executive Appointments 63, Jane Sandberg, to serve on the Kenosha County Commission on Aging and Disability Services. Refer to Human Services Committee. New business, ordinance, one reading, two required, ordinance 23 from the Human Services Committee, an ordinance to amend chapter 16 of the Municipal Code of Kenosha County to reflect changes in state administrative code ATCP 75 and to provide clear publication of fees and programs regulated by said ordinance. Ordinance 24 from the On the first reading, I just read through it, and then. Can I clarify that? She wants to. We're doing the first reading. She, but um, Supervisor Belsky wants to clarify something on that. You want, you want to talk about it now? Okay. Uh, um, so can you? There's no debate at the first reading. It's just as, as a matter of procedure. The ordinances have to be read twice. Tonight is the first reading. They'll be discussed at the second reading at the next meeting. Oh, well, it wasn't debate. It was just clarification. So I can wait. Okay. Ordinance 24 from the Public Works and Facilities Committee, an ordinance to revise Chapter 10 of the Municipal Code of Kenosha County Parks. Ordinance 25 from the Public Works and Facilities Committee, an ordinance to create Chapter 23 of the Municipal Code of Kenosha County pertaining to County Trunk Highway Access Management. Resolution 1 reading, Resolution 110 from the Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Ken Harper to the Board of Health. It was approved unanimously. Supervisor Berg excused. Supervisor Belsky. I move uh, resolution. Moved by Supervisor Belsky, second by Supervisor Beth. Supervisor Belsky, on the motion. Um, this is for Kenny Harper. He's an entrepreneur, Harper Tax and Financial Literacy. I feel he's very qualified for the position, and I ask for your vote. Any discussion? Supervisor Noodle. Thank you. I'm going to be voting against the, uh, this resolution. And also, I will be voting against all the resolution uh, for appointments by the county executive. 
And uh, if you guys can have the record, just reflect that so we don't have to call for a roll call every time as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Call. Any other discussion? Mm -hmm. If not, we'll take a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You vote in favor, right? Okay. Motion carried. Resolution 111 from the Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the reappointment of Dominic Pritchett to the Board of Health, passed unanimously at the committee. Supervisor Berg excused. Supervisor Belsky. I move Resolution 111. Moved by Supervisor Belsky, second by Supervisor Decker. Supervisor Belsky. Uh, Dr. Dominique Pritchett is a therapist, mental health clinician. I feel she's very qualified for this position, and I ask for your vote. Any other discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 Any nay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Motion carries. Rosa, resolution 112 from the Human Services Committee, a resolution to approve the reappointment of Terrence Warthen to the Kenosha County Human Services Board is passed unanimously at committee. Supervisor Berg excused. Supervisor Belsky. I move resolution 112. Moved by Supervisor Belsky, second by Supervisor Gully. Supervisor Belsky. I ask for your vote on the um, uh, reappointment of Terrence Warhan to the Human Services Board. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, aye. 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 Noted. That, okay, thank you. Motion carried. Resolution 113 from the Judiciary and Law Enforcement Committee, a resolution to approve the appointment of Nancy Kemp to serve as a member of the Kenosha County Local Emergency Planning Committee, Group 1, local elected officials. Passed unanimously at committee. Supervisor Pomville. I move for resolution 113. Moved by Supervisor Pomville, seconded by Supervisor Wimble. Supervisor Pomville. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This resolution is an appointment of Nancy Kemp to a three-year term as a member of the Local Emergency Planning Committee. Ms. Kemp has been a long-term, has a long history of work in emergency management and is a Town of Randall supervisor. This resolution passed unanimously in Judiciary and Law and we ask for your support this evening. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Been noted also. Okay, thank you. Resolution 114 from the Judiciary and Law Enforcement and Finance and Administration Committees, a resolution approving the 2022 Wisconsin Department of Justice Law Enforcement Drug Trafficking Response Equipment Grant. Passed unanimously at both committees. Supervisor Kubicki excused. Supervisor Palmville. I move resolution 114. Moved by Supervisor Palmville, second by Supervisor Gentz. Supervisor Palmville on the motion. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This resolution was a request to approve a grant offer for $10,000 offered by the State of Wisconsin Department of Justice, passed through the Racine County Sheriff's Department. This grant in total is a little over, a little under $49,000 and is shared among the five participating counties in the Southeast Area Drug Operations Group, managed by Racine County Sheriff's Department. Uh, the sheriff proposes spending our share, which is $10,000 for monthly lease payments for new surveillance vehicles. This resolution requires no additional funds from the general fund. It increases revenue by 10,000 and increases expenditures of the same. This resolution passed unanimously in both committees and we ask for your support this evening. Any discussion? Seeing none, this requires a two thirds vote. We'll do roll call. Supervisor Gashke, can you confirm? Resolution passes. 21-0. Resolution 115 from the Legislative Committee, a resolution condemning the invasion of Ukraine by the Russian Federation. It was approved unanimously at committee. Supervisor Kubicki and Boyd Frederick excused. Supervisor Berg. I move resolution 115. 
Moved by Supervisor Berg, second by Supervisor Lewis. Supervisor Berg on the motion. I brought this forward because there's a lot of devastation happening in Ukraine uh, the past few weeks. Aside from shelling of, the, of homes and schools and hospitals, uh, there was a date on here of February 28 where half a million people had already fled Ukraine. At this point today, it's been 2.6, so it's increased by over 2 million in uh, less in two weeks. So I, uh, I ask for your support on this. As it was stated, it was also unanimous at committee. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Resolution 116 from the Planning, Development, and Extension Education Committee, a resolution to approve the annual report, a multi-jurisdictional plan for Kenosha County 2035 the 2021 annual report. This was approved unanimously at committee. Supervisor Gaskey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move resolution 116. Moved by Supervisor Gaskey, second by Supervisor Maurer. Supervisor Gaskey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this comprehensive plan um, is updated periodically, uh, especially every 10 years based upon the most recent uh, census data. And so that's what we have before us here tonight. Um, the, uh, the MJAC, the Multi-Jurisdictional Advisory Committee, is um, comprised of representatives from the city of Kenosha and all of the towns and villages throughout our county. Um, they met recently and reviewed the annual report details uh, on February 15th, about a month ago. And, um, they, and, they, and we as a committee forwarded our positive recommendation on to uh, another county committee, the County Planning Development excuse me, um, they, they forwarded their uh, recommendation on to our committee, the Planning and Development Committee. Uh, we reviewed this uh, just last week at our meeting and uh, discussed it, and we ask for your support tonight. Thank you. Any discussion? <clears throat> Supervisor Nordigan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, through the chair to uh, the chair of uh, uh, planning, Zoning. The land use amendment planned for 2021 does not include Town of Randall, Town of Paris, Town of Brighton. Uh, is that because there were no changes in those areas? Or was uh, there nothing talked about? I, I'm just wondering why there wasn't anything about those three towns. Um, yeah, my, my understanding is that there were no uh, ch substantive changes to that. That's my understanding. Um, if, if I hear otherwise, I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you. you. Uh, I don't I believe the reason why the towns were not um, in there is because they they fall under the county jurisdiction so they've already been approved by the county and it's just outside I could be wrong but if going back I think that's what it is thank you supervisor and has is specifically noted in here so I don't know if that's completely true if we could get that information it'd be great that's all I'll, I'll check on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Any other discussion? We'll take a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Thank you. Resolution 117 from the Public Works and Facilities Committee, a resolution to approve the reappointment of Lieutenant Ken Urquhart to serve on the Kenosha County Traffic Safety Commission. It's passed unanimously at committee with Supervisors Nudo and Rodriguez excused. Supervisor Grady. Move resolution 117. It's been moved by Supervisor Grady, second by Supervisor Franco. Supervisor Grady. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a reappointment for Lieutenant Ken Urquhart to serve on the Kenosha County Traffic Safety Commission. He's done a good job and we ask your approval this evening. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? No. Motion passes. Resolution 118 from the Public Works and Facilities and Finance and Administration Committees, a resolution to grant WE Energy's permanent easement request within the Village of Salem Lakes. This was approved unanimously by both the Public Works and facilities and finance and administration committees with Supervisor Kubicki, 
Nudo and Rodriguez excused. Supervisor Grady. Move resolution number 118. Moved by Supervisor Grady, second by Supervisor Gantz. Supervisor Grady. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This came to our committee and it's one of these items where the uh, easement needs to be completed so we can do our routine type expansions and utility work. Um, ask your approval this evening. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Resolution 119 from the Public Works and Facilities and Finance and Administration Committees, a resolution to approve an intergovernmental agreement between Kenosha County and the Village of Twin Lakes for a project to resurface and enhance a section of County Trunk Highway EM. This passed unanimously at both committees with Supervisors Kubicki, Nudo, and Rodriguez excused. Supervisor Grady. Move resolution 119. Moved by Supervisor Grady, second by Supervisor Gantz. Supervisor Grady. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This came before our committee, and it's really kind of an interesting and uh, nice way to be able to make that stretch of County Highway EM more safe for motorists and pedestrians alike. For those of you familiar with the Twin Lakes area, this would be the road that is on the eastern shore of both of the uh, Twin Lakes area, and it has quite a bit of interesting topography in the sense that it has high points, low points, it has some berms high on one side, falls away on the other. Um, kind of challenging from an engineering standpoint just to redo the road in itself, but the uh, village approached us and said, you know, we've got a fair amount of pedestrian people that actually walk right on the roadway. And with some of the corners and so forth that are out there, lines of sight are not that good. They said, what could be done to actually make it where we could have some pedestrian ways off to the side that would be a safer area. So it's not uniform in the idea of doing pedestrian walkways and so forth just due to the topography, but within reason where it is possible, even just a foot, two feet, sometimes as much as five feet, to be able to get the pedestrians off the roadway into their own safer corridor area is the plan. And the nice part about this is there's hardly any right of way that has to be obtained. It can basically be done within most of the configuration that's there. And the village of uh, Twin Lakes is contributing to this project. So we've looked at it, we've vetted it, and uh, we think that for the residents, tourists, uh, Kenosha County in general, it's a good, it's a good plan. Uh, we ask your approval this evening. And uh, Mr. Ray Arbit is here if you have any further questions or details. Thank you. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Thank you. Resolution 120 from the Finance and Administration Committee, a resolution setting salaries for sheriff and clerk of courts. And passed unanimously at committee. Supervisor Kubicki excused. Supervisor Gens. I move uh, resolution 120. The move by Supervisor against, second by Supervisor Ron Frederick. Supervisor against. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is uh, when the electeds are coming up four years in advance. We always do this before they take out the papers. We set the salaries. Um, we did have a discussion on what those would be uh, for the next four years, and we decided to go with a 0% on both the clerk of courts and the sheriff for next year doing some, I guess, to the economy right now. And then uh, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half for the sheriff moving forward and one, two, two for the clerk. Uh, we did get information on, on other comparables, uh, which is what we use when we set salaries. So uh, all that was taken into effect and we had a nice discussion on it. So uh, we did approve it unanimously and I ask for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Supervisor Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I was at the Finance Committee the night this was discussed, and I spoke against it then, and I'm going to speak it against it tonight uh, as well. Um, I think the Finance Committee took at least a half step in the right direction with setting these numbers at zero for next year due to uh, the current, current economic climate that we're in, uh, but there's no telling when it's going to let up, and right now 
people are having a hard time paying their bills. Not just my constituents, but I think all of our constituents. Uh, the latest numbers we have are from last month, and we won't get this month's numbers until next month. Uh, but I just want to kind of go over that, because sometimes I think um, our constituents think that their elected officials, um, even us, even us uh, here on the county board, you know, we're normal folks. I think by and large, we're not uh, super incredibly wealthy like some members of Congress. Um, but I know I've definitely felt the impact of rising prices. So as of last month, inflation as a whole was up 7.9%. Energy was up 25.6%. Gasoline was up 38%. Shelter was up nearly 5%. Food was up nearly 8%. New vehicles up 12.5% and used vehicles up 41.5%. The cost of living has gone up for all of us. And what we're doing now is paying the highest, some of the highest paid people in the county. We're going to give them a raise. When people at home are having a hard time paying their bills. This, this, this is levy dollars. This isn't a grant. This isn't money that's just coming, falling out of the sky. This isn't ARPA money. This is le levy money and we're giving the highest paid folks in the county a raise. Now we have candidates right now for sheriff. We all know we have quite a few of them. Clerk of courts, we don't have any yet right now, but for all the candidates who filed for sheriff, they filed saying they want to run for that job at the wages that the sheriff makes now. They didn't think he got paid too little. And we have outgoing sheriff and potentially an outgoing county clerk of courts. We want to give raises to the new people. And I just, I think that's asinine thinking. And I think if you try to sell that to your constituents, you're going to get the door shut in your face because people are having a hard time right now, but we're giving those who have the easiest time right now paying their bills, we're going to make it even easier. And so I encourage all of my colleagues to vote against us tonight. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Oh, oh, oh. You want a roll call? Supervisor Beth. Beth? Supervisor Beth. I will be abstaining from this vote. Supervisor Beth? I will abstain from voting on this issue. Okay. We'll do a roll call. The resolution passes 13 yes, 7 no, and 1 abstain. Communications 12 from Andy M. Bueller regarding future items scheduled before the Planning, Development, and Extension Education Committee. Even file. Approval of the February 16, 2022 and March 1, 2022 regular county board minutes by Supervisor Palmaville. Supervisor Palmaville. Second by Supervisor. Got it. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Carried. Thank you. Thank you.